Today I'm making sticky date muffins. They're very soft, chewy, ooey gooey and they remind me of a traditional um, sticky date pudding. So if you were to serve it with a vegan butterscotch sauce or a caramel sauce, it would be an absolute great substitute for a sticky date pudding. I like to eat them just as a muffin on their own and I'm going to show you how to make those right now. First of all, I'm going to preheat my oven to 175 degrees Celsius, which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I've also lined a muffin tray with three, six, nine, twelve muffins. I've got some silicon cups that I'm using today, but you could also um, lightly oil your muffin tin or use some paper baking liners. Up to you what you want to use but I don't like using extra oil, so this is what I'm going to be using today. First of all, I'm going to be mixing all the dry ingredients in a bowl, and I'm starting with half a cup of rolled oats. Next, I'm adding half a cup of flour. I'm using wholemeal flour just to add a bit of extra nutrition, but if you only have plain flour or all-purpose flour, feel free to use that. But for today's recipe, I'm using half a cup of wholemeal flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and quarter of a cup of coconut sugar. You could also use raw sugar or brown sugar. I just like the coconut sugar because it does add a caramel flavor. Okay, and then just mix all those dry ingredients together really well especially to make sure that the baking powder is mixed through evenly. And then we'll do the wet ingredients, combine the two, and get them in the oven. Okay, so next we're making the wet part of the muffins. And I'm going to start with one cup of water. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. 15 pitted dates, and I'm using medjool dates. And two medium sized ripe bananas. Mine are actually out of the freezer today. I had some big boxes of bananas lying around the other day and froze them all ready for muffins and ice cream. And I'm using those today. Okay, so we'll put the lid on the blender, blend this mixture up, and then it'll be ready to go. Okay, so there's still little pieces of dates in there, but I don't mind that because that's going to add a little bit of texture to the muffins. So I'll add that to my dry ingredients. Okay, so now that we've got the dry and the wet ingredients in the one container, I'm just going to gently fold this through. You don't want to mix it too much, just to keep the muffins nice and light and airy. So just enough to give it a, a good stir through and turn it into a batter. And the silicon spatula works really well for this just to go around the edges and scoop off any bits that are on there. Okay, we're done. And that looks good. Okay, so to put this mixture in, I just use an ice cream scoop. Just I just find it's the right sort of size. But you can use any spoon that you have and fill up these cups. And I'm pretty much filling them almost to the top. They won't really rise all that much. Okay. Now that these are evenly filled, they're ready to go in the oven. So 175 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, so 25 minutes is up. I'm going to turn my oven off and get these out. Oh, yum, they smell awesome. Oh, looking good. 
Mmm, smelling good. Let's get one of these out for a taste. So what I like to do with the silicon cups just to help with getting getting this out is I get just a little knife and just go around the edge let it cool a little bit more but and it'll firm up yeah if, it, if they don't pop out properly just go along with a knife gently around the edge and then you can just turn them over and pop them out easily Okay, so I usually let them sit about five or ten minutes before I take them out. I'll just test this one. Aha! So yes, if you let it cool down more, this will actually all come off. I'll put it on the top. <laughs> and this is super, super hot. Ooh. Okay, and also when I take them out to let them cool, I just let them sit on a... Um, I've got a pizza tray with some holes in it just to let them cool down without um, going all soggy. If they sit on a solid surface they like to go a little bit soggy. So yeah, let them cool down for about five minutes in the tray, five to ten minutes, then take them out. If they are sticking, use a knife around the edge, turn them over and just let them sit for a while and then in about ten minutes time they will be ready to eat. Okay, now I know I told you to wait about 10 minutes before you eat these, but I've waited about five. I've got all of my muffins turned out and cooling, but I'm going to just taste test this one. It just, it's just so soft and gooey inside. Really, really yummy. Oh, have to eat it. Have to eat it. Mm -mm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. It just tastes really fudgy and caramelly. Mm, just reminds me of a sticky date pudding, but a healthy version. So delicious. Mmm, yum. Mm. Now I know my husband likes these, so I think I might actually go and jump behind the camera and let him try one of these. Okay, I've got my husband Mitch there. He's about to try one of these awesome date muffins. Give it a go. I could probably eat a lot of these, but... If I had some pretty vegan ice cream, that banana ice cream you make, oh my god. Uh, this. Or the caramel sauce that's also on Anya's website. Caramel sauce on these. Oh my god. Mm. Yep, they are as good as usual. But, mm. on their own. Mm. And hot out of the oven. Okay, they don't need anything. They're just delicious. <laughs> you gotta buy it. Not buy it. You gotta eat it. You gotta cook it. And then eat it. Mmm. Yeah, sure. Yes, you're right, Anya. These are the best. Mmm. Oh, dates. I love them. Oh, these are seriously so good. You have to try them and just share this recipe with everyone in the world because these are just so good. Honestly, you've got to give them a go. Give it a thumbs up if you like this recipe. Don't forget to check out our, my other recipes, especially the caramel sauce that I have on my website. will go perfectly with this. I'll link to it underneath. So you can actually check that sauce out. These are just divine. So I'll see you next time for the next recipe. Bye. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yum. Mm -mm.